Hello everyone, in this video we're going to show you how to set up your uh, dental unit and uh, the correct ergonomics for left-handed individuals. For the same video in Arabic, kindly check the link below. Once you enter the Sim Lab or the Phantom Lab, you're going to receive your instruments and then head to your unit and make sure that you are sitting in the unit with your name on it. Then you're going to wash your hands and you can sanitize your hands. Then you will wear your PPE starting with your gown. Then you will wear the surgical mask. Then you will wear the protective eye goggles or face shield. Last but not least, you are going to wear your gloves. After that, you're going to make sure your instrument tray is complete. After that, you're going to move the dummy head and prepare your position. After that, you're going to install the hand pieces and the high volume suction and three way syringe. After that, you're going to install the upper and lower jaws in the phantom head. When sitting in position, you have to make sure that your feet are flat on the floor at the right angle with your leg and your legs are on a right angle with your thighs. You sit completely back on the seat to rest your back. Make sure that your back is straight with your shoulders back. Let's start with the ergonomics of the occlusal surfaces of quadrant three. When working on mandibular teeth, you're gonna place the patient at a 45 degree angle, making sure that the occlusal plane is at 45 degree at the same level of your elbow and you're going to sit on the left rear, left or frontal position and make sure that the light is on the patient's mouth. Then you're going to tilt the patient's head a little bit to the left. You're going to place finger support and the alveolar bone or the tooth. You're going to place the burr perpendicular to the tooth surface and then retract with the mirror or use it to reflect the light. Moving on to the buccal surfaces of the mandibular teeth. When working on the buccal surfaces of quadrant three, you're going to tilt the patient's head a little bit to the right so it can see clearly and then you're going to retract the cheek or the soft tissue you're going to place finger support on the alveolar bone or teeth and place the burr perpendicular to the surface moving on to the occlusal surfaces of quadrant four when working on quadrant four you can tilt the dummy head position a little bit to the left so you can see the occlusal surfaces clearly after that, you're going to place finger support on the alveolar bone or teeth. Then you're going to place the burr perpendicular to the surface and you're going to use the mirror either to reflect the light or retract the soft tissue. Moving on to the buccal surfaces of quadrant four. When working on the buccal surfaces of quadrant four, you can tilt the dummy head position more to the, towards the left so you can see the buccal surfaces clearly. 
then you're going to place the burr perpendicular to the surface with finger support and you're going to use the mirror to reflect the light or retract the cheek. Moving on to the lingual surfaces of the mandibular anterior teeth. To work on the uh, lingual surfaces of the anterior teeth, you're going to tilt the patient position upwards just a little bit so you can see clearly. And then you're going to place the burr perpendicular to the surface with finger support. You can use the mirror either to reflect the light or retract the soft tissue. Moving on to the occlusal surfaces of quadrant one. You're going to place the dummy head in a supine position to work on the upper uh, quadrants. After that, you're going to sit behind the patient, making sure that the level of the head of the patient is by your elbows. After that, you make sure that you adjust the light, moving the light from the patient chest, moving up to the chin and to the mouth. After that, you're going to place finger support on quadrant two, and then you're going to extend your fingers so that you reach the occlusal surfaces of quadrant one. Make sure that you are perpendicular to the surface. You're going to place the mirror behind the handpiece, and then you're going to start moving it in an angle until you can clearly see the occlusal surfaces. Moving on to the buccal surfaces of quadrant one, you're going to tilt the patient's head a little bit to the left, then you're going to retract the cheek, place finger support, and then you're going to look directly while working. Moving on to the palatal surfaces of quadrant one, When working on the palatal surface, you're going to tilt the patient head a little bit more to the right side, and then you're going to place finger support and place the, uh, the handpiece perpendicular to the tooth or to the surface you're going to uh, cut, and you're going to look directly at the tooth. Moving on to the labial surfaces of the anterior teeth. You're going to place the patient head in a center position and you're going to sit behind the patient. And then you're going to place finger support, place the handpiece perpendicular to the surface and you're going to look directly. For working on the palatal surfaces of the maxillary anterior teeth. When working on the palatal surfaces of the maxillary anterior, you're going to place finger support on the teeth and then you're going to place the handpiece perpendicular to the surface and you're going to look through indirect vision by placing the mirror behind the handpiece and then you're going to start tilting it until you can see the palatal surface clearly. Moving on to the occlusal surfaces of quadrant two. You're going to also sit behind the patient. You're going to retract the soft tissue, place finger support on the teeth or alveolar bone, and then you're going to place the burr perpendicular to the surface, place the mirror behind the handpiece, and then tilt it in an angle until you can see the occlusal surfaces clearly. Moving on to the palatal surfaces of quadrant two. You're going to sit on the left side of the patient or left rear and then you're going to place finger support and place the burr perpendicular to the surface and you're going to look indirectly through the mirror. In this video we explained the correct ergonomics for the dentist and patient position for left-handed individuals. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.